Hey everyone, Flockcakes here and welcome back to some more MBON. But today I'm going to bring you guys some matches of the Zaydra. This is a 2500 cost mobile suit. And before we get into things, you know, I'm not going to try to cover the suit in this video. I just want to show you guys some matches because I've been playing this guy and he's kind of fun. But you guys probably noticed if you're reoccurring fans of my channel, I don't really play that many 2500 costs. I don't really know why. I feel like there's not really that many that I like. And there is a few that I like that take like a lot of time to actually learn or have like some sort of learning requirement. Like the Brave Commander for example, I've been trying to learn that guy, it's just I feel like I'm missing that one thing from him. And something like the Zeon, I very much love the Zeon, but it's just I just gotta get used to a few things with him before I can actually like play him. But just 250 hasn't really just, it just doesn't fit well with me, I don't know why. But there are some very strong 250s, like the, what is it, the GPO3, which is on the enemy team, that's an amazing, that's actually probably the best 250 in this game. There's the Black Hound, no, not Black Hound, Dark Hound. There's the, what's it called, the Strike Noir from, uh, the Strike Noir from, uh, Stargazer, that's also a very powerful 250. And this guy, he's also a really good suit. He's a great all-arounder with some nice tools to him. And overall, it's a very fun suit to play. He has a very nice CSA. And I do want to talk about it a little bit. I think, like I'm 99.99% sure, this guy's the only suit in this game that has a form of RNG. And that's with a CSA. But I'll talk about that in a second. If you guys don't know, he's from Gundam Age. Gundam Age is... It's a different type of Gundam series. You know, there's people that, actually there's a lot of people who haven't seen it. It's the one that like, it did have a little bit of a pacing problem, but it's a very niche mainline animated Gundam series. Cause I don't really, I don't see a lot anyone really recommend it or been like, hey, that's the Gundam series I grew up on. Especially newer fans, it was like C, double O, or IBO. It's just, it, it had this like weird limbo, I felt like. Sometimes you forget it exists, and other times you're like, oh yeah, that's where the age suits are from. Or like, because if it wasn't for the games, I feel like a lot of people would forget the age exists. I didn't really have that big of a problem with it. A lot of times the pacing was a little bad, and I felt like some things like, got a little messy like in the middle, but I really liked the enemy designs. It, they really try to appeal to like a lot younger audience than usual so that's why like the villain suits have like a very spiky design to them because like look at this guy he's like all triangles if this guy was a toy he would easily be a hazard to children you could poke someone's eye out with this thing but i like the design a lot i get like a weird getter vibe from this guy just cause like, if you look at his body and put like some reptile textures on him or like reptile skin, he would look like a getter enemy and that's really cool. I don't know why, this this design just fits really well. And it's just that like a lot of the enemies from Age just look like, they look more like reptiles than robots. They have like either bat wings, claws, faces that look like actual mouths. They have like feet claws of two, some of them have tails, or you know, they have all the above, and it just looks nice. I don't know, it's just a me thing. But you know, we're probably never gonna get a master grade of this thing. Or just a master grade in, of like the enemy suits in general. But anyways, a nice thing about this guy, let me just talk about the RNG. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he's like the only suit that has RNG, but it's a CFA. His CFA is an assist. See, uh, charge shot assists are great because you technically have infinite ammo because you can just recharge, uh, you just gotta charge it. What happens, you will, you will summon it and it will go straight to the enemy and melee them. What it does after the melee is RNG. You have three options, well, there's three things that can happen. I don't know the ratio, I feel like it's even throughout the board, but what can happen is, let's say option A. The suit will go up, melee the enemy, and it will stun them. From there, you can get a combo or do whatever you want. Option B is, it will go up to the enemy, hit them, then hit them upwards where you can follow up with a combo. Then option C is, it will go hit the enemy, jump back a little bit, and start shooting them. 
Uh, it's a interesting move because it's all melee. It's not like it's vastly different. However, option C with is an entire combo by itself. And if you want to follow up with option A or B, you have to do an appropriate action because option A is a standstill stun while option B hits them upwards. So it could be a little more tricky if you're at a weird angle to uh, get a follow up. And it's a neat thing. It's nothing like super difficult. It's just like, oh, that's neat. And I like it a lot. It's actually really cool. But other than that, he's like a very nice suit to learn. He has a very solid kit. He's an all-arounder. And a nice thing about him is he like has two main guns, you can feel like. His main gun is a beam rifle. However, under that, you have a beam machine gun. And you can treat this machine gun like a main gun in a way. You can use this machine gun to fastball your AB. You can use this to finish beam shot combos if you don't want to go into more boost. You can free fall while shooting the uh, machine gun. It's a very helpful gun and it, it's like simple to wrap your head around. And it also pairs very nicely with his uh, beam rifle. Because you don't need to boost out and do the typical Zuda to finish a combo. You can do beam rifle shot, boost, beam rifle shot, then free fall with your beam machine gun and you can save some main gun ammo while uh, saving boost as well. But he has a thin Jirobi that has a fast startup, which is also nice. And he has a timed power up. It's a very simple suit and I really like it. Might cover him in the future, but you know, I, I say that about literally every suit I play, so I'm sorry about that. But his power up is called the X Rounder. He glows red. He gets just basic power up things. He moves faster. He can shoot more shots with his machine gun. He gets two Jirobis instead of one per clip, which is nice. And his main gun shots are a little thicker. However, the most important part, and not important because it's like helpful to like his end game. The most important part in my opinion is he gets access to a new melee move because this is one of the coolest looking melee moves and it's the Ryu side kick and you guys have if you guys are paying attention to the math you see me do it a few times it's your guess bent your gun buster your rider kick it's such a cool move I like it a lot and it's just it's a blast to use you can also use it for mobility just to get out of scenarios and just to use it as like a way to cancel your CFA out of because if you do it with a direction you do like a spin in that direction and it's a cool looking move especially if you do neutral because if you do neutral BC while you're an X rounder you'll kick the enemy and you both will be horizontal however at the end you'll kick through the enemy and you'll pop them upward and it just looks super cool but if you do like in a downward position and do it You'll kick them and start riding them on the ground, and that look like that. That looks so cool. I wish I like held that down because I think I could have killed that guy. But it, it's just such a cool looking move. <laughs> I like it a lot. I just really like this guy. Like visually and all, his move set's super fun. And in Extreme versus Two, I don't know if they kept the RNG to a CSA. I don't really know about that. However, his kit's not really that different. I don't know how he is in Extreme Versus 2, but in this game, he's pretty alright. Well, he's pretty good for 2500 cost, and considering he doesn't really have that much, like, shenanigans, like, he doesn't really have that many big tricks up his sleeve, besides his X-Rounder and his nice CFA, he's a pretty honest suit, and just, like, when I say honest, I mean, like, he doesn't have anything, you're like, wait, he can do that? Or, like, oh, that's super cheap. It's just... He has the basics, that's probably the best way to say it. You know, you're just gonna need strong fundamentals, cause I don't think there's anything in this guy's kit that's gonna like win you the game. You gotta have to use his CSA, you gotta have to use his free fall uh, main, I mean BC, no not BC, his free fall machine gun which is his AP. You gotta know when to go into your install or a timed power up. You just gotta know how things work to succeed with this guy. Which is something I really like, it's just strong fundamentals, those kind of suits, the all-arounders, those are great suits. And you know, there's strong fundamental suits with long range and close range, they're not all just uh, all-arounders. But anyway, not talking about this guy. Overall, cool. Model kit? Probably never. 
But another thing I like about him, and this is just something I like about some suits, is that they can run, they can main extent burst. Now, technically everyone can use extent burst, however, there's obviously some suits benefit highly from using fighting burst or using a shooting burst for an example, but there are some suits that it's pretty okay to use extent burst as your main burst, because shooting burst, you don't really get anything from shooting burst with this guy. You can already free fall CFA, uh, you know, he has a B machine gun, which you don't really need that many console routes. His Jurobi isn't really a spammable move, so it's not really that helpful. Fighting Burst is nice if you know how to uh, melee. This guy doesn't have any tricky melee or any, like, very unorthodox or fast melee routes, so it's going to be a little tricky to be hyper-aggressive melee ride. But you can do it, and he does have some nice routes that lead to some good damage. However, I feel like Extend Burst is the best route. It fills your ammo up, it allows you to get out of scenarios for free, and just in general, this guy's kit is fairly, like, it has a nice ground to it that, be, that you don't lose anything for not being in shooting or fighting burst. But anyways, that was the Zaydra. Cool suit all around, very much like him. I just like playing the suits you don't see that often, because, you know, I do check around to see what suits that you don't see a lot of videos of. But anyways, like usual, my name is Slothkay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like usual, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you guys next time.